Mississauga Tomahawks opened the season at the record with a win. A much stronger Green Gales team in the lineup this time. Certainly don't want to have the same fortune to open the playoffs. Zach Bryant was not around on opening night. Neither was his footwork. He creates space for himself and chucks the ball past Riley O'Callaghan. Will Carnduff makes his Junior B playoff debut and pots a goal to make this one part of a memorable night for the Carnduffs. More on that later. This is not Jeff Fernandez's first playoff goal for the Green Gales. He might have had a few points prior to this one. 128 in the playoffs, to be precise. Late in the period, Justin Bragg showing strength on the ball to leave Owen Quick in his wake. Unassisted goals, he steps around the goal crease a couple of times in the Zorro celebration. It is 5 to nothing after the first. Second period, the Tomahawks on a power play. Liam Limoges, and I'm not sure if I said that correctly, uses Gareth High as a screen, and his shots can hit the far side behind Liam Wynn to make it 5-1. to one. Wynn comes up with a big stop here. The rebound right to Ryan High, who can't believe he didn't score with the goal staring him in the face. So instead of a two-goal game, it is Jeremy McWaters who scores. It's going to be 6-1 to one at this point. Next up, it's Brandon Porga who will get his first Green Gales playoff goal as he beats Noah Cormier, who is now in goal for Mississauga. The Tomahawks score back-to-back -back goals, and this is Ryan High sneaking in behind everyone. He's going to outweigh win. He fires at home. That's going to make it 9-3. to three. They get another chance from close range, but this time win is going to shut the door. Third period, Brendan Lundy takes the pass from Carndorf. He quickly converts. That makes it 11-3, and that was Lundy's first Junior B playoff goal. Brady Kiernan had three goals in his first postseason game for the Green Gales. This was the best look of the bunch as he hits the floor while scoring. And another late season acquisition joining Porga is Tyler Sonicson, and he gets in the goal scoring as well. That is the Green Gales' 14th and final goal of the night. With the game in hand, Jack Carnduff call up from the Shamrocks. We'll see action over the last five minutes of play. And his first job will be to thwart Tyler Hirschman from putting up the Tomahawks' fifth goal of the evening. And he takes care of that quite nicely. 14-4 is the final. The Green Gales take the first game of the series handily. But uh, they know there's a little bit of work that needs to be done uh, defensively going forward. Definitely a uh, transition uh, offense coming off the floor a couple of times, getting too involved with their uh, their antics, and it cost us a couple goals. Uh, we got we got to take care of that in the next couple of games and to keep going in the rest of the playoffs. We know that they are strong. They're strong on offense, so we know they're going to throw some stuff at us. But we uh, we have a good defensive coach, Chris Godmore, that uh, he got us pretty prepared. Those slips in behind do happen, but we get, that's what we got to fix in the next couple of games to go on to the next rounds against the Oxfordies and the Halton Hills.